Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a collaboration makeup tutorial with my beautiful friend, Kitsia Nieves, here on YouTube. So if you guys will please go ahead and check her out after you're done watching my video. Kitsia is so talented and one little fact that I wanna share is Kitsia has been a subscriber of mine since about 2010, 2011 when I first started my YouTube channel. So that's for almost eight years, seven and a half years that I've been on YouTube. And now she has her own YouTube channel. Check out her work. She is just so amazing and so talented. So when you are done watching my tutorial, if you will please head on over to her channel and check it out. We are doing a spring makeup look. I think I went a little bit overboard. I was inspired by peaches and cream or peaches. Excuse me, my voice is a little bit raspy. I think I'm getting sick, so it feels like it's gonna cut out of me. But I did this really, really pretty spotlight cut crease and I'm gonna put up some pictures and some footage right now so you can see it. It was really, 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 really fun creating this look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I am gonna be doing a talk through or a voiceover for this video, so check it out. Okay, everybody, I did my eyebrows off camera and I am starting with this MAC paint stick and it is in the shade white. You can get this at the MAC Pro Store um, or online at MAC Pro. So if you don't have that, then I don't know what to say. I am starting with Sorbet in the crease from the Royal Peach Palette from Kylie Cosmetics. And I am just blending it on out. Just blending it, blending it. And then I am going into Peachy, which is a little bit deeper than Sorbet, just to deepen that up. I like a nice gradient effect um, when I'm doing my transition. So what have you all been up to? Oh my gosh, you guys. I have finals this week and it's killing me. I have so many assignments. But anyways, I'm just blending everything out. I really don't show a lot of the blending on camera because it takes some time. Next, I'm going in with cinnamon, which is a little bit deeper, and I'm just taking it on the outer corner of my eye and the inner corner of my eye on both eyes. And then, like I said, I do most of my blending off camera. So next, I'm taking the shade Igneous from the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. And I thought about using just this palette at first, but then I decided to go ahead and incorporate the Kylie palette. And some of the shades in the Kylie palette don't blend that well, but you know, I went ahead and went on with it and then just added this shade from the Sunset Palette. Now I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape and I am carving in a crease right above my crease because I do have hooded eyes and that is the only way that this will show up. And I wish you guys could see, I'm using Magic Act, which you can see right there. And that is a really pretty pressed pigment from Makeup Geek. You guys, the camera doesn't do it justice. You have to see this in person. That's why I put in the pictures. So now I'm taking cinnamon again from Kylie Cosmetics and just kind of shading in the inner and outer corners to give like a gradient effect until there's no harsh line. I'm just kind of blending it to make sure it looks really, really nice. Now I am taking Queen Bees from Coco Lashes from Lady Moss Beauty. These are fantastic. Now I'm doing my foundation. I do use the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 3C1. This is my jam. It covers my dark spots. It is amazing. So I love that. So I'm just doing that right now. I hate doing foundation on camera. If you guys would like for me to ixnay that out, I will totally do it. Now I'm taking Light Medium Honey Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going under my eyes and covering my bags and my dark spots even more. Now I'm going in the Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow and I'm taking this really nice contour shade. This is such an amazing palette. You guys, it is just, it's beautiful. I love Natasha Denona palettes. They're just really, really, really good. And this contour shade is pretty amazing. So I am totally loving this, totally worth it. I'm going underneath my jawline to kind of slim my jawline because the girl has gained some weight and I'm trying to lose it right now. Getting rid of that double chin. You know what I'm saying? Too many burgers. Too many burgers. And I am contouring my nose with the same shade from that Sculpt palette. I believe this is the 
medium, light medium um, sculpt and glow from Natasha Denona. And I'm just kind of doing a little nose contour, not too drastic. Now I'm taking the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush the Daria palette. <gasps> This palette is life as well. I, I just love it. I am a professional makeup artist, so I can afford to splurge on these palettes. If you can't, Wet n Wild makes good palettes, um, and blush, and so does ColourPop, Dose of Colors. I mean, oh yeah, and I'm just jamming out. And then look at that highlight from the Diamond and Blush palette. Oh, I'm telling you, this is so worth the splurge, but like I told you, Wet Wild is where it's at. And I am just highlighting in all the right places. This is Sore Lip Liner from MAC Cosmetics. My favorite lip liner. Let me tell you, I absolutely love it. And it goes really well with the liquid lipstick that I am about to show you. That is from Jeffree Star. This is Gemini from Jeffree Star. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys love it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I put on my glasses because I was as blind as a bat, believe it or not, doing that makeup tutorial. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right here. Click the notification bell right here, the notification box right here to make sure that you are getting updated with my newer videos. And don't forget to check out my beautiful friend, Kitsia Nieves, here on YouTube. She's collaborating with me and she also did a spring makeup tutorial. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye everybody.